All right, so I have a QCAM Ego SD card, micro SD card here. If I open that, you can see I have some photos in there, yeah, and a video. But today it is about the photos. We double click in there. So this is my folder with the photos. And then I have a Anaglyph workshop. And this all here is happening on the Mac. And I want to show you how I work with this, how my workflow is on here to make anaglyph images out of the images I have in here. So first of all, I create a new folder and call this, let's say, black and white anaglyph. I can also uh, do this for color. So color anaglyph like that. And um, so what I'm going to do now is I go here in this anaglyph workshop thing and go to batch processing and I do batch dual images because we have a dual image. What we do have here is a side by side image. That is what is in this folder here. Those images are side by side. If I, did I double click on the name? Oh. So I'm sorry. So this is a side by side image. This is one image, but it's left and right camera, right? So um, this is here in this folder. Okay, now um, we can specify this folder with all the pictures in it. And this is the folder 01. That's where it comes from here. Select. And then we want an output folder here, destination folder. This would be here black and white underglyph. That's what I want. I click down here, black and white. We are working for red blue glasses. Uh, I also want a JPEG compression on the original file name. And then I shall say start conversion. And then it takes those side by side images and makes uh, the anaglyph black and white out of it. So if I look in this folder here, then you see how it adds one after another. If I open one up here, this one here, if you now uh, put your 3D glasses on the uh, red and blue glasses, for example, then you can see this image here in 3D. I don't know if I have a better image of something. Here, an image of a car and a tree. And so, <coughs> 3D, okay. Anaglyph, that's what it's called. Now, once this is ready here, once this software here with the progress bar, if that progress bar is all the way through, then it has it converted. And um, just have to wait for it. And when it's done, we can um, locate uh, the color folder and do the same thing with color images when we uncheck here the black and white section. Right? So here, it's already ready. Look at that, how fast that goes. Now, uh, locate the destination folder. Now we do here the color anaglyph here. Select, and then we take the black and white off. If we start the conversion now, it will create here in the color anaglyph folder. There will be color anaglyphs. If you still have your, your glasses on, I just pick this one. That's a very blurry one. Let's see here if I have a better one. This one here. Okay, so this is now a color anaglyph. And uh, yeah, if you have your glasses back on, then uh, you can see. Good. Um, as always on the Mac, it's easy if you have your folder here and you select all of them, you can open all at once. Now I have to resize this here so that you can. Uh, okay, so if you go here through your uh, images and you don't like one like this, for sure, I can tell you it did not work out. So if you want to adjust that, then you would have to manually go in and uh, change that picture here manually. What is, I have to admit, a problem with this software? Because for some reason it cannot open a single side-by-side -side, uh image and I have not found out how that works. Yeah, it's already ready again. Okay, close this. So if I single want to open a dual image, um, 
I, uh, there is no left and right, right? So if I insert here uh, a side-by-side -side image here, it's in here side-by-side, -side, but there is no settings where I can do anything about it. No, I forgot the number here. What did I use? 13? So if I put 13 in both of them, that doesn't help me here. <laughs> you know? So I don't know how you... Uh, how you would oh side by side parallel but this is how it converts to this is not how you in in import it you know so it's not how it goes on this side so that's a question I would have uh, why that doesn't work but other than that um, It's working pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.